Introduction to Radiographic Contrast Media Part 1 Photon Absorption It would be difficult, if not impossible, to produce diagnostic radiographs of arteries, veins, cavities, or passages without special contrast media. Radiographic contrast is made possible by the selective absorption of X-ray photons. However, photon absorption by a structure that is surrounded by structures of equal or similar densities is not sufficiently selective to produce adequate radiographic contrast. In cases where structure densities are similar, contrast media are used to alter the photon absorption and, therefore, produce the necessary contrast media. Radiopaque and radiolucent contrast media A. Radiopaque contrast media Contrast media that increase photon absorption are termed radiopaque, or positive contrast media, and are made from substances of high atomic numbers, such as iodine, and barium. B. Radiolucent contrast media Media that decrease photon absorption are classified as radiolucent or negative contrast media, and are substances with low atomic numbers, like gases. These media are sometimes referred to as, positive and negative contrast media. Toxicity, it should be noted that regardless of atomic number, a contrast medium must not be excessively toxic to the patient. If, for example, pure iodine or pure barium were used as a medium the patient would become violently ill. This is because iodine and barium in their natural states are poisons. So the two requirements for a good contrast medium are that, number one, it must change photon absorption, and number two, it must be relatively non-toxic. In the case of iodine and barium, low toxicity is obtained by chemically combining them with other elements. For example, Diatrizo 8 Grouping of contrast media In this video, we will be grouping contrast media by chemical makeup and usage. Media that are chemically similar, and those used for the same examination, are grouped together. Three examples of such groups are, oral, injectable, and non-injectable contrast media. These terms are rather general, so more specific groupings will also be discussed. Watch out for part 2 for the continuation.